Let's get back to this remote control car. So as we had seen in previous videos, I'd modified the controller so that the X and the Y, in other words, the acceleration and the steering uh, can be cut out and go to an external port, which I have this TRRS four pole jack with the cable here. And that part of it, the controller's all done. So next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to try to see if an, a joystick will work without any sort of additional circuitry or, or complexity. <clears throat> so I have it hooked up and the cable comes out of the remote, comes over to here to a, a female jack here and, or I should say plug, and, or jack, I was right the first time. And it is connected up to a standard gaming joystick. So th this is uh, one you could buy off of Amazon or whatever. Now th this, uh, this is the same sort of thing that I use in a lot of my gaming stuff. So um, it's a this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor potentiometers here. And remember inside here it's 5K. Now they're all voltage dividers, so they should divide voltage similarly uh, ranges might be an issue. Anyhow, long story short, let's see if this actually works. So I'm going to turn on the car and then I'm going to turn on with my new power button the remote control and now let me try to manipulate, let me see if it'll go forward. And let's see, that is at full throttle. Let me see if I can adjust the throttle. Yeah, so I, if it's going too fast, we have the built-in switch on the remote that will slow it down. Let's see if steering works. Oh my goodness, steering works. And it does the full range too, which is good. So, Amazingly, and I was kind of shocked by this, just this simple setup works. Um, now, it probably needs some calibration, and the remote itself can go into a calibrate mode. Um, the calibrate mode, I think primarily we need it on the acceleration, because it's pretty touchy on the acceleration. And right now, it doesn't go in reverse. So that is telling me it's probably a calibration issue. Um, but it's it's a really good sign that a standard gaming joystick will work. So I think I'm going to send it out with one of these to try out, and then we can tweak it as the user actually uses it. What, what's going to happen is I'm going to put have a setup like this. This is one of my uh, power chair gaming sticks that I use. So it uses that same mechanism, except it uses a power chair topper. Um, so this is what we'll use initially to to experiment with this. In effect, this ends up being one of my PlayStation 5 adaptive uh, joysticks. It's it's the, exactly the same setup, the TRRS jack and the topper and all that stuff. So good news there. It looks like uh, we'll be able to get this car on the road sooner than later.